So you're sitting enjoying a good magazine and suddenly you feel that annoying twitch that keeps going and just doesn't stop. Arrgh! Hi, I'm Liz, physiotherapist from My Physio To Go. Our channel is here to teach you how to manage and deal with different injuries and conditions for yourself. Keep watching to find out how to get rid of that twitch. Muscle twitches are spontaneous, fine and fast muscle contractions that can look like worms crawling under your skin if it is continuous and involving multiple muscle groups. This twitching will stop when you use the muscle and it continues once you rest it. The common areas you get this is in your eyes, thumbs, arms, feet and legs, especially the calf muscles. There can also be numbness and tingling along with the twitching. Muscle twitching can be a sign of more serious conditions such as ALS and other motor neuron diseases, but only if there are other symptoms alongside like difficulty walking, talking, swallowing, and progressive weakness. If the main symptom is only muscle twitching, it is unlikely to be a sign of a more serious condition. Most of the time, this harmless twitching is called benign fasciculation syndrome. So what causes BFS? Normally, the brain sends information through the nerves to move, and this is done through a process of chemical and electrical changes. When there's a change in how the signal is sent to the muscle, or a change in how the muscle receives the signal, an involuntary muscle twitch can occur. These changes can be caused by altering pH levels, chemicals, and vitamins required for muscle contraction, and can be due to stress, anxiety, fatigue, intense exercise, dehydration, alcohol or caffeine, smoking, low phosphate, mercury intoxication, and drugs. Some common drugs that may cause twitching are corticosteroids like prednisone and hydrocortisone used to treat inflammatory diseases and conditions, beta agonist drugs like Ventolin and Fordal for asthma, and allergy drugs like Benadryl and Sudafed. To get a clear diagnosis of what is causing these twitches, doctors would need to order blood tests, nerve tests, complete a neurological assessment, and a thorough medical history. As well, the doctor will likely follow the case for about 5 years to see if there are any other signs of possible disease causing the twitching. So how do you stop the twitching? Here are a few things you can do. Ensure you have adequate hydration. The best way to do this is to examine the color of your urine. Ideally, you would want to have a clear color. The darker the urine, the more dehydrated you are. Avoid energy drinks. These drinks usually contain lots of caffeine which can increase the amount of ATP or energy in the muscle and cause twitching. Eat a healthy wholesome diet with a variety of fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds. This will provide the proper micronutrients for muscles and nerves to prevent twitching. Get enough sleep. Aim for 7-8 to eight hours a day to maintain proper hormone levels. Altered levels can increase the excitability of nerves causing the twitches. Manage stress by talking to a friend, meditating or exercising. High stress levels can again alter your hormones which can increase the excitability of the nerves. Lastly, talk to your doctor if you noticed your twitching started after medications. As mentioned previously, some medications can cause twitching. Hope you guys found this video to be helpful. Please like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you.